<laughs> Look at the exhaust. <laughs> and I've like pretty much lost brakes. Welcome back to the start of today's video. Today is going to be an exciting one because today we're picking up the new project car for the channel. I'm getting the Camry prepared because the car that we're picking up is quite a bit away. I've been looking for this particular car that we're gonna buy today for the past couple of weeks and it all comes down to today. I've already agreed to purchase the car. I haven't even actually seen it in person. I've only got photos and videos of it. So hopefully it's uh, mint. Just in case, as a backup plan, we're gonna bring some tools because who knows what could happen. Hopefully it doesn't leave us uh, stranded an hour and a half away from Melbourne because we're going to the other side of the city to pick it up so I'm gonna prepare the Camry for that and of course we're gonna bring some tools because who knows what could happen in one sentence or less describe the car that I'm buying and your thoughts on it mighty as fuck <laughs> one sentence or less absolutely disgusting the first thing we're gonna do is pack up and go get some food because we have an hour and a half trip obviously it's on the other side of the city yeah i'm extremely excited this is a car that you probably won't ever have, have guessed that i would have owned i didn't think that i would own this up until a couple of weeks ago actually i've just decided to purchase this car as i don't know something new something that i'm sort of new to as well just to sort of explore uh the other side of the other side of the car world <laughs> Weather is atrocious. All right, we're at our first stop. I don't know where the hell we are, but we're about an hour and a half away from Melbourne. It smells nice and crisp out here in the country. Oh man. Um, yeah, so we're gonna pick up the car uh, very, very shortly. I'm not gonna reveal it till later because obviously we're trying to keep this a little bit of a surprise as long as we can. I've got all the paperwork all filled out. Paperwork. Yeah, I'm excited. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Stay back. No, no, don't be like that. It's sitting low, man. If it's done right, if chop springs are done right, it's professional. Whoa. It sounds tough. Yeah, it sounds good. good. It actually sounds good. I'll turn it off. Yeah, I'll need to do just a receipt pretty much. So <laughs> Bow down. Uh, the hydraulic cam brake and shit in it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dual bro, like full lock set it up as drift. Yeah, Show the Melbourne boys what they use all about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Awesome. They can have their rice as Yeah, I know, right? Get out all in the, the old the buddy. Japanese cars. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. get out in the it's old AU. It's a it's a full shitter. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds tough though. It sounds yeah. it sounds it's got a huge exhaust leak. <laughs> it does. <laughs> but it sounds tough. Apparently he just put an exhaust on it to quiet it down before I drove it home. Oh wow, it actually moves, bro. Oh uh -huh. damn! <laughs> what the fuck? Two Asian boys in the AU. Yeah, what a two sight. Asian boys. It's so smooth, man. It's nice. It's so smooth. Oh, cut springs? Yeah. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Bro, it's so smooth. Oh, there's the chop spring life. All right, guys, we've picked this up. We've got an almighty AU Falcon. This is the new car. You guys are probably absolutely confused with what the hell is going on. I'm also confused. I don't know why I've done this, but I purchased myself an almighty AU Falcon. The whole idea of this build is that it's going to be set up for drift. Bro, it's, it's low, right? The guy's like, yeah, it's been lowered. I was like, oh, how, how'd you do that? He chopped the springs in and he like sort of hesitated for a second, but I think we both knew that, you know, he just chopped the springs. But we're going to chuck in some premium 98 to get us home. <laughs> you need to look under the Oh, dude, car. we need to move it forward a little bit. <laughs> look under the car. Look at the exhaust. <laughs> look how deep. Look what it's... Was... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It, dude, it's incredibly smooth to drive. You put it in drive and it and just comes off the line so nicely. It's the four liter. In tech, almighty AU. Because this was originally a gas car and he's just deleted the gas tank. Oh, he deleted it because it's for, uh, for barbecues. So that's what he said. That's what he said. We're giving, we're giving this girl some, some premium 98 petrol to get us home because who knows what could happen. <laughs> Bro, extra boot space without the tank. Dude, it's, it's enormous. <laughs> Almighty AU boys. Good clean, man. I like it. It actually sounds tough. I'm it not gonna lie. It sounds tough. It's actually not bad. <laughs> but no wonder it's got half an exhaust. <laughs> Yo, Pia, you wanna 
come out here? Fuck it, like I, I breathed in for a second and oh, I could just- All this AU fumes, bro. Real talk here. This is an absolute shit box. This is going to be our next drift car project. Um, obviously, we have the chaser as well, but we do need a car to pelt around in the meantime so we don't break the chaser because that's a very expensive car. AUs in Australia are sub $1,000 and that is pretty much what we picked it up for. We're definitely going to be attracting a different audience here. Yeah, I hope we make it home. I really hope it doesn't overheat. It doesn't have any coolant in the car right now. It's only just got water, so that's why the, uh, the, uh, the previous owner gave us like a whole bucket of water just in case that we need to pull over and fill it up. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. Let's see how we go on the way home. That's got to be the exhaust. Ah, uh, must be the exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. Oh, it's, oh, it's bottoming me out, bro. Oh, oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. I'm literally all over the place. Lachlan's like, I can see you guys bouncing around everywhere. Yeah, no shit. Oh, fuck. Dude, my heart just sank for a second. It's an ammo. Oh. <laughs> so what you want to see when you're driving an AU, you don't want to see red and blue lights go over any bump and the whole car just goes... Have you seen that ad where like it's like an AU Falcon like racing like a, a like a drag car uh, and the AU Falcon just goes <laughs> must be stuck in third gear or something I think that's what he says <laughs> must be stuck in third <laughs> we're almost home we're like 10 minutes away from home it's been about an hour and a half and I've like pretty much lost brakes I go to push the pedal in nothing that's like full to the floor got my hand on the handbrake down here that's not safe. Shit. Fuck. It's like peak hour. Oh fuck. This, oh, all I can smell is brakes. The handbrake. Oh my oh, god. Oh my god. Wait, dude. Pump. It's working. Are we drifting or are we just... Oh, oh shit. My. Holy shit, bro. Ah, uh, we stopped. Oh shit. <laughs> the highway driving was deceptive. Bought a lemon. <laughs> <laughs> The new project car for the channel. Oh my god. The brakes failed on the way here. The transmission's like clunking weird. It seems like it's misfiring as well. Chop springs. What have you done, man? What have you done? <laughs> oh man, that time. That time. <laughs> so sketch. Down there on that turn. Bro, it was so fucked. We've turned in and then Rex is going to kick it out a bit. Full like turned around. Bro, We're facing the other way. <laughs> I literally no no input and it came out a little bit. I tried to brake because it's got no brakes. It just full 360. Oh, god. What? Turn up there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so we had to just go the other way because I was facing the other way. You guys ready to look at the intake? So just to uh, give you guys a sort of rundown on how that drive went. Absolutely disgusting. Every bump that we went over, it was it was insane. Look, do you want to show them? Just want to show them how bumpy it is in the back. Just use your, your pinky finger. <laughs> I could probably lift the wheels off the ground. We, we completely lost brakes. Yeah, I want to show. I don't think Nathan and Ash have never seen an Intec before. Neither have I, dude. It's the first Intec I've ever seen. Oh, it's got struts. Oh no, it's just a power this steering pump. <laughs> this thing's gonna blow. I saw it, but have you told your viewers? It's still braking period. It's it's still braking period for an Intec. It's done 340,000 kilometers. But you, but guess what? What happens if you blow up an Intec? 370, isn't it? What happens if you blow up an Intec, guy? Yeah, they're, they're literally so cheap as well. Do you think this has the air filter still in it? So what does this mean for the channel you might be asking yourselves? Over the span of the next few months, the plan is to turn this thing into a full drift missile. You see, the issue with buying a Japanese car nowadays is the prices are absolutely ridiculous. Look at the prices on an S15. Look at the prices on any S chassis. They're gonna set you above 20 grand minimum. For an S15, you're looking at somewhere in the range of like 30 grand for a clean one. You know, I also thought, why not buy something from the motherland? You see, good old Australia makes a whole bunch of different vehicles that a lot of you Americans seem to really like, like the, uh, the Ford Bar which of course is in a Falcon, a bit newer than this one. But this right here is from the heart of Australia. It may not be the pinnacle of car manufacturing engineering, but this, this was made where I was born, in Australia. <laughs> I picked this up for 1K. You see, it's just not smart anymore, especially if you're a beginner like me to purchase a really expensive JDM car to learn in. Um, I don't make a crazy amount of money from YouTube, from my job. So the smartest thing to do is buy the cheapest possible car that you can find in order to learn. So yes, I have an absolutely capable drift car over there. And yes, we will still drift that, the chaser. While we're learning, while we want to do really hard stuff, the AU will be able to take it all. We're going to weld the diff, chuck it up some coilovers. I need to do a deep clean because it smells like many, many human fluids. 
months. But if you're new to the channel and you want to join me along on this journey, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. It helps me if you watch the videos and chuck a like on them as well because, yeah, if you want to see this skid pig turn into <laughs> a proper drift car, then, uh, yeah, come along with this on this journey with me. Um, I've got a lot to learn with just drifting in general, so this thing will teach me a lot. I'm super excited to, you know, learn how to tandem, get a hydro. Man, it's, it's just going to be good fun, so I hope you guys can feel the excitement through this video. I'm super excited to see where this car goes in the next couple of months. There's so much to learn. It's, it's a decent platform. <laughs> if you want to follow me on this journey, subscribe, like, and all that good stuff. Catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. See you later. I vomit when I imagine the car.